Now for our final speaker of the night. Has anyone heard of the Genius New York competition? We've got some. Let me tell you about it. It is a $1 million competition in central New York for unmanned vehicle companies, drones. And this next speaker has a chance at that $1 million. Well, maybe, okay? We need to wrap our arms around him and make sure that he's got the resources to shine in this spotlight when he applies for the competition. One million bucks, not bad, right? So most of us don't think about where our food comes from, but Aaron Duran with Orox, Orox, he said I could say it both ways, but Orox uh, is taking things a step further. They're using drones with remote sensing technology to measure and optimize the food. So think of dairy cows, right? And having those drones fly over, and collecting all that data. Now I can't say it as best as it is and can, so I'm gonna give the mic to him. Give him a round of applause. Thanks, Kate. My name is Adam Duran, uh, co-founder of Orcs. My other co-founder is the tall guy in the back. Um, so we provide data and technology solutions to dairy farm consultants and animal feed companies. So I'm sure many of you have been driving through upstate New York. Maybe you looked off to the side of the road and seen these strange piles with a bunch of tires on top. Well, that's not a tire farm. It's actually a dairy feed pile at a dairy farm. <laughs> Sorry, my, my poor attempt at humor. Um, so here's another picture of a dairy feed pile. On the top half, you can see the cut crop of corn or hay that's packed tightly together by tractors. The bottom half are those tires and the tarp that's covered to keep uh, precipitation and air out of the pile. Now, I'm sure you also see these stacks of money. That's because these feed piles are a straight conversion of money to dairy farms. At large dairy farms, often millions of dollars. So, over 50% of the dairy farm's total cost is allocated to dairy feed for those cows. Compounding upon that significant cost and value is that up to 20% of that feed can be lost every year due to mismanagement or spoilage or a number of factors that are really difficult to uh, track and manage. Now on the right graph right here are two eastern New York dairy farms. Their feed, annual feed value is over or around $3 million every year. If they're losing up to 20% of that every year, and they're losing around $600,000. Now think for a second, if you have $3 million in your bank account, I mean, that's a great thing, right? Everyone wants $3 million in their bank account. But if you're going to lose up to 20% of that every year, you're gonna know exactly where that's going, why it's going there, and do everything you can do to stop that money from being lost from your account. Now, why aren't farms doing that right now? Why, why can't they track this? Well, it's because Dairy farm fee is extremely difficult and dangerous to measure. These are hundreds of thousands of cubic feet piles that have variable slopes and just a large amount of variation in elevation. And the current way of measuring these piles is using tape measures and measuring wheels to go around there and get general estimates. Not only is this extremely inaccurate, it's also extremely dangerous. People fall off these piles or get injured by these piles every single year. On the right side, the, the right picture shows someone taking a, a density measurement at a forage pile. Now density is a really important metric at a dairy farm because it has a, a correlation to the amount of lost feed that I was talking about before. But the current way of measuring that is by taking a cordless drill and a probe and actually drilling into this unstable tall face that collapses and kills people every year. So fortunately we have a solution that works. We're using a combination of drones and remote sensing technology get highly accurate consistent visual measurements of dairy farm feed down to one inch of precision. Not only is it significantly more accurate, but it takes 15 minutes versus an entire day going out there and putting yourself at risk of injury or death. We're taking these measurements that we're collecting, combining them with nutrition data and on-farm feed software data, and integrating them into what we call a feed sense report. This feed sense report is our ultimate deliverable that we provide to our customers who are farm uh, nutrition consultants and animal feed companies. So not the farms themselves, while they benefit from this, our ultimate customer are those consultants that work with the farms to provide them um, advice on how to feed their cows and, and where the feed comes from. So here's a quick snapshot of that feed sense report. 
provides a number of really important metrics so that those nutritionists and those consultants can really optimize uh, the feed at the farm and maximize the uh, inventory that they currently have. So here's a really cool picture of an asteroid. Uh, what on earth does it have to do with cows? Well, we recently secured a licensing agreement from NASA to uh, bring on some of their technology onto our drone platform that will help us accurately measure density of dairy farm feed. Not only is there significant potential this technology for measuring dairy farm beam feed, but it also has an incredible amount of potential in other industries uh, like civil engineering, construction, and mining, and the list goes on and on. So coming back to the dairy industry, um, it's a really unique market, somewhat of a niche, but a huge, huge market. Over 85% of the market is actually located within about nine hotspots throughout the United States. With a $38 billion US economic value, that means over $30 billion are located within these very condensed hotspots. That means with a small group of pilots and team, we can capture a significant amount of that market. Another unique part of this market is that over half the cows in the dairy industry within the United States is fed by only two companies, Perine and Cargo. Both of these companies are, are, existing, are existing customers, and they provide really ideal channeling partners to get out there to the rest of the market and capture a significant, significant amount of those cows and, and, uh, and farms. So our revenue model is based on a penny per cow per day for an entire year. That may seem like an arbitrary metric, but it's actually a very commonly used metric within the dairy industry. With our current customers feeding over four and a half million cows, if we only capture 50% of our two existing customers' market share, that's over $16 million in annual revenue. Going beyond that is that's just the uh, revenue model for our feed sensor report. With the development of that density sensor, it'll, increase, it, it'll significantly increase our value and potential. So, so far we've had a significant amount of traction. Uh, we're first to market with this technology and we're the first market with a solution for this uh, major problem within the dairy industry. We've been to over 50 farms throughout New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire, and we're significantly growing that over the next few months. We have uh, those feed sense trials going with two of the biggest companies uh, in, the, in the dairy market and even the US, and we've secured that licensing agreement with NASA to start prototyping uh, this sensor and hopefully capture uh, a significant amount of data. So with that success over the last year, we are also looking for a lot to the future. Initially, we need that seed funding to help build that prototype and start testing that, correlating the data to the density of the feed. Um, in addition to prototyping that density, density sensor, we're uh, anticipating uh, negotiating a potential partnership with our current customers at the conclusion of our feeds and trials. And then, of course, as Kate mentioned, there's plenty of opportunities out there, especially for drone startup competitions like Genius New York, uh, would be a huge opportunity for us to gain more funding and more traction and really scale up. So what I ask today, um, first, if you have any contacts with angel investors, uh, please put us in touch. But beyond that, um, we're also looking for a potentially key hire for the software development that would be needed for that density sensor and for our mobile-based feed sensor report. So, if you have any connections with a really good skill set, please let us know about that as well. Of course, please follow us on social media and uh, share our story with any contacts you might have in the ag tech or dairy industry. And so with that, thank you to everyone for being here tonight. Thank you, Startup Tech Valley. Density side of things, um, the way that density is currently being measured is through the face of the pile. So essentially, once they start cutting into that, uh, potentially with the sensor and uh, the development that has been proven so far with NASA, is that we wouldn't even need to take off those things. But at the minimum, we could go far and beyond what is currently being measured. As we could measure several meters into the face of the pile and map out the density of that entire face versus just a single measurement here and there. So would the plan be to uh, build the density prototype and then integrate that on an like aftermarket drone, or would you make, be making your own 
flying platform to, to put that on? It's still something that we're considering, but I think the best route at this point would be to use a existing platform that has the ability to integrate uh, sensors and has its own SDA, SDK and ability to uh, really customize that platform because we're not really looking to build an entirely new drone. We just want to get the sensor onto an existing platform that will work. This is about the density of the silage or is it about the nutrient value? It's the density of the silage, which has a correlation to the nutrient profile of that silage. And it has, uh, it's also has a relationship to how much feed is lost and a number of different metrics that goes into that. And beyond just um, the implications in terms of the quality of the forage and uh, the disappearance of the forage, it also helps with that overall uh, amount that we're measuring because we have very precise volume measurements. Combining that with the density will give us the total weight, and that's what all the farms and nutritionists use is the weight of the feed versus volume or density. 